just a quick video. I'm going to make more videos on this stuff, especially these. Uh, but I just got these in the mail today. And uh, I wanted to just make a quick one on these smart air pumps because uh, I've never owned one of these. And I usually just pump my tires up at home with my air compressor. But it's kind of a pain setting it all up. I have no idea, honestly, how these things work or if they're even any good. I feel like they're just going to be really slow. But um, I just thought we'd try it out now anyway and unbox it and see what it comes with. And But these are the main event. This is what um, AS Max sent me, uh, these intercoms. It's a dual pack. So I asked for a dual pack because me and Ethan are going to try them out and do a full range test and everything. Not just kind of the audio quality and installing it. So that will be probably the next video. But yeah, in this one, I'm just going to run downstairs and check my tire pressures with this thing. Uh, pump them up, let them down, see how efficient it is and... Um, just go from there, I guess, see if it's a good product. I do actually have this Cardo unit that I pulled out of my adventure helmet. I was going to put that in my new showy, but instead of that, we're going to try those new ones anyway. So like I was saying, I've never actually tried one of these smart battery air pumps. It's got a digital tire pressure, um, three LED modes, a power bank feature, auto shut off, um, preset pressures, comes with a two year warranty. Pressure wise, it says two to 160 PSI. So I don't know, it's quite a lot, but uh, let's unbox it anyway and see what's in there. I don't even know if it'll be charged, so we might have to come back, but we'll see. It better be USB-C. Oh, it is, yep. I hate it when stuff these days has old charging ports. Uh, nice braided airline with metal fittings. Comes with a little carry bag, and then the pump itself is quite weighty. Here we go. feels pretty good quality. It's plastic, but it does feel like good plastic. It doesn't feel really cheap or anything. So the only ports are on the front. So it's got an LED light there, but USB-A and USB-C port. And then it looks like a quick connect where you put the air line. So power it on anyway and see what it looks like. Looks like the battery might be flat, but we'll try it anyway, I reckon. It's the LED light. Flashing. It just connects in nice and easy. Let's hook it up to the tire and see what it reads. It's a screw fitting. 40 PSI. Jeez. I had a feeling it was too high. Alright, so I'm just going to go from 27 to 34 PSI and see how long that takes. Pretty quick actually, way quicker than I thought it would be. All right, but well, there you go, guys. Just a really quick video for you. AS Max Smart Air Pump T10, really cool actually, and it was way faster pumping up the tire than I thought it would be. So, yeah, a little preview for you. I'll update you guys uh, in a bit once I've used it for a while and tried it on some other bikes. We'll put it through some cycles and see if it lasts. Do the torture test on it, but really cool little piece of kit, and it's not too heavy. It feels like I was saying before well made but not too heavy to put in a backpack and carry around with you if you're doing a bit of a road trip so handy handy bit of kit